Hello St. Luke, this is part two of the transition update. I hope that you've seen or read part one as I invited us to look back in order to look forward. If you missed part one, I invite you to watch or read it using the links provided and then come back for part two. Having looked back in order to look forward in part two, I invite us to look forward so we can move forward. In part one, I reminded us of the visioning work we've done and how the council identified three things that define who we are and what we hope to be together as St. Luke. Supporting everyone's faith journey, building relationships with God and others, and meeting the challenges of today's world. As I prayed and thought about those three goals, it reminded me again of why I love being your pastor. It also made me think of a conversation every pastor has on a regular basis. Whenever I meet somebody new and they learn that I'm a pastor, the question that comes next is almost always, what kind of church are you the pastor of? In the local community, I mention St. Luke and immediately hear things like, that's the church where I give blood, or that's where my child goes to daycare, or that's the church with the sign, I love your signs. I realized, however, that most of the time when someone asks me what kind of church I'm the pastor of, I usually respond by saying, it's a Lutheran church. I wonder, however, what it would be like if somebody asked me what kind of church I'm the pastor of, or somebody asked you what kind of church you belong to, and we respond by saying, my church ex supports everyone's faith journey, builds relationships with God and others, and meets the challenges of today's world. Isn't that a response that makes you excited to be a part of St. Luke? Can you imagine how hearing that response would impact people when they ask about St. Luke? It sure says a lot more than it's a Lutheran church. Now, don't get me wrong. St. Luke is a Lutheran church. We are shaped by the good news of God's grace that Lutherans have proclaimed for five centuries and is expressed today through the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America that we are a part of. But it was Martin Luther himself who said, do not call yourselves Lutherans, you are Christians. As people find their way into a church community, they are looking for so much more than a particular label. I believe that is true even among those of us who are most committed to the witness of Lutheran Christianity. Living as children of God is our primary identity and call. And for St. Luke, that identity comes to life as we support everyone's faith journey, build relationships with God and others, and meet the challenges of today's world. When I look at St. Luke today, everything we do begins with the simple step of gathering people together. We gather to worship God together. We gather to learn, to pray. We gather to stitch quilts and serve meals. We gather to teach children the story of Christmas as they film a pageant and to explore faith with confirmation students. We gather to care for one another. We gather to share coffee or a meal and to simply be together. Our intention to gather people, to build relationships with God and others perfectly matches this world's longing for a great reconnection after the isolation caused by the coronavirus pandemic. I believe that we were not created to make it on our own. We become who God created us to be as we interact and build relationships and support one another, think together, dream together, and serve together. The future of Christianity belongs to those who put relationships at the center of everything. Our commitment to gathering and to showing up for one another will determine God's future for St. Luke. When I look at the gathered people of St. Luke, I see our commitment to supporting everyone's faith journey. We hear it every week in the words, wherever you are on your faith journey, you are welcome as we share Holy Communion. I believe that when we say all are welcome, that all means all, no exceptions. I also believe that all are welcome are not just words on a website or spoken by the pastors. Radical welcome depends upon every one of us not only agreeing that all are welcome, but every one of us taking steps to show that welcome to others, to show that welcome to any child of God who has felt less than welcome, to extend that welcome to every newcomer who has the curiosity and courage to find their way into the life of St. Luke. Nobody shows up on accident and nobody should miss the full experience of feeling welcome when they do show up. I also see that St. Luke is committed to making a difference in the world. We roll up our sleeves when a need arises. 
We share generously, especially when good intentions lead to a good plan that brings about good results in the world. Results like homes for Appalachian families that are warmer, safer, and drier. Results like 300,000 meals packaged and provided to families facing in food insecurity. I believe that we can be a blessing to one another, to our community, to the larger church, and to this world that God loves. I also believe that an ongoing commitment to service is what we want from each other and what every person seeking a faith community expects and hopes to participate in. I believe we are called to be people who combine action and reflection on a continual basis so that the ways we serve together shape how we think and live, and that as we gather to learn and discuss the challenges of today's world, we will be compelled into further acts of service by what we discover. I envision a future for St. Luke that flows from what God has already done, but also knows, trusts, and insists that God is still at work. I envision people gathered for engaging worship that supports everyone's faith journey. I envision people gathered into intentional relationships with God and others. I envision people gathered to meet the challenges of today's world through relational service and effective generosity. St. Luke is already the only part of our lives that regularly gathers people of all generations and walks of life together which means it is our best opportunity to support and engage in ministry that serves people of all generations and walks of life. I want you to join me in seeing the unique community that God is building among us and to join each other in the shared ministry that God is calling us to. I believe supporting everyone's faith journey includes sharing God's love in a way that is always looking for the next new disciples. That includes looking at everything we do through the eyes of people who are seeing St. Luke for the first time. That includes encouraging and equipping parents as they raise children. That includes expecting that welcoming new people will include welcoming new ideas and new ways of following Jesus together. Supporting everyone's faith journey also includes discovering what is next at every point in our lives. God is constantly calling us to participate and to grow. I envision a future for St. Luke that meets us at every chapter in our lives, nurtures connections with others who share common experiences, and draws us into relationships across every generation and walk of life so that the experience of abundant life is available to everyone. I am convinced that God is drawing us into something new and wonderful. As we look forward, God is inviting us to move forward. There are so many ideas and possibilities to discern together. I will remain committed to shaping and evaluating all that we do by asking, will this support everyone's faith journey? Will this build relationships with God and others? Will this meet the challenges of today's world? God has done so much, but there is still so much that God is calling us into. There will be new ways that we support everyone's faith journey, new ways that we build relationships with God and others. There will be new challenges in the world and new ways to meet those challenges. As transition unfolds, you will call a new lead pastor, and I share in the hope that I will get to be that pastor. Together, we will also make sure that St. Luke has the best possible staff for where God is leading us and equip that staff to succeed at their roles in our shared mission. But know this, what happens as we move forward depends upon your willingness to participate in what God is calling us to become together. You are essential to the mission of St. Luke. Today's world is ready for a church like St. Luke to show up. Showing up goes beyond the pastors and the staff. Showing up goes beyond the council and even the faithful volunteers who lead the way. Showing up is for all of us, St. Luke. Will you support and help the shape of our life together this year? Will you participate? Will you show up? I am convinced that step one as we move forward is a great reconnection after the isolation of the past two years. Let's commit to doing that in the year ahead, St. Luke. Let's keep the conversation going with God and with one another. Let's discover how each of us can respond when somebody asks us what kind of church we belong to. Thank you for listening, St. Luke. And thank you for being a church that supports everyone's faith journey, builds relationships with God and others, and meets the challenges of today's world. Please share both of these updates with everyone so that no one is missed. Peace be with you this Christmas, St. Luke, and throughout the upcoming year.